Mm. Mom's homemade chocolate chip cookies. There's nothing better than mom's homemade chocolate chip cookies. And Aunt Carla's boosh. You got boosh? I got boosh. Hey everybody, I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and this is Cooking Like Alpha Beta Pie. Tonight, actually, I'm going to make you something that kind of tastes like pie. It's a side dish. It's acorn squash. I'm basically going to show you guys how to roast a squash. Super easy, super simple. It's going to be extremely tasty and it's going to kind of taste like a pumpkin pie-ish. So here we go. We're actually running out of time in our fall, winter and early spring and stuff. Uh, running out of those winter months that we can actually use all those nice awesome winter flavors like cinnamon and nutmeg and whatever if you're not already sick of them from the holidays i'm not i love it it's great so this is an acorn squash it's a tiny little squash i washed it simple stuff right cut it in half that's what you get so you got these seeds on the inside parts that need to come out and i've got myself a nice little bowl and i got it basic spoon right you guys can do this so i'm just scraping out the innards which is you know those little um looks like cobwebs <laughs> little veins holding the seeds right you don't want the seeds out and you want those veins out now don't forget you can keep those seeds and you can roast them off as well and eat them like snacks they're really good just about any squash has them and you'll like them you'll like them a lot so do the best you can to get as much as you can out of here this is kind of sticking tonight. I don't know why, but it is. That's just the way things go. Where's my knife? My little tiny knife. Here it is. Here's my nice little paring knife. Handy dandy. I'm just scraping in there. Now this is super sharp, so that just helps me out a little bit more. So that's a good tip. All right. Boom. Do the same on the other side. Again, reserve the seeds if you like. If you don't, I mean, big deal. Whatever. You can also save these seeds to plant next year in your garden if you uh, so choose. What you would do is you just pick them out of the veins here and you would let them just naturally dry on like a cookie sheet. You wouldn't actually put them in the oven to roast or anything because that's going to change everything. You want to just let them dry out completely and then you can store them in an envelope um, to keep them dry out of the sunlight until you're ready to plant in the spring, which is around the corner, so hey, why not, right? All right, so now I've got two shelled halves. Okay, I now I typically serve I typically serve one for each person. We like it around here, so that's what we do. And if you want, you can split it in three or four or whatever. But uh, we do, you know, we do one each. They're not that big. So here's the next step. Okay, I'm taking a baking dish. Spraying it down with non-sprick spray. You don't have to do that. You can grease it up if you want to into the dish they go. It's not rocket science, you're good. I have a basting brush. I've melted about a tablespoon of butter. I'm like, that's all. So I'm just taking this and I'm just basting all throughout this squash and the inside, on the, everywhere on the inside, okay? Into that hole and all around that flesh. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Now I'm gonna dot it with more butter later just to make it tasty, but this is gonna get a good start for it, okay? All right, where's my towel? There it is. Next, next is salt and pepper, always, okay? So, salt, I'm using Dragaria seasoning tonight, now, with the salt and pepper. This is a red Hawaiian sea salt, you can use whatever you kind, but this is very tasty. I used it last night on popcorn. That was my midnight snack with melted butter and red Hawaiian sea salt, belligerent. So yeah, I'm on that today. And we're going to use that again because I really enjoyed it. All right, on to it. They go. Four Peppers Grinder. This is freshly cracked black pepper, again, from Dragaria. Um, I didn't get this at my grocer. I got this at uh, Qualifers Foods Online at qualifers.com. Um, they're based out of Toronto. Super fast shipping. I love them. They're the best. Thank you, Qualifers. Thank you very much. Okay, next. Spice. Well, no. Yes, all kinds of spice, but I'm going to tell you that later. Next, I'm putting on nutmeg. Now, if you have the nutmeg nuts, I've ran out and I can't seem to find them. I need to find them online somewhere. Um, 
I don't have the nutmeg nuts, so I have ground nutmeg and that's cool. Just, just sprinkle over top nicely. You don't need a ton. All right. Sprinkling a little bit of cinnamon onto that. Beautiful. Now my pièce de résistance. I like everything that's sweet to be a little bit spicy too, like spicy, hot, spicy, okay? This is cayenne pepper, just round cayenne. I'm just sprinkling that on top. Yay, that's going to be good. Okay. Next, I am going to put about, about a tablespoon of brown sugar, and I'm just sprinkling it all throughout that cavity, trying to get it on the rim a little bit. Okay. Let's do the same on the other side. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I have a preheated oven. Hold on, rinse my hand. I have a preheated oven at 350 degrees. And you're just gonna let that roast until it's fork tender or you can stick a knife in it. So what you would do is when you take it out and you wanna test it, you're gonna see this kind of be golden brown and stuff. You're gonna stick your knife in. If it comes out easy, just like other vegetables, that means it's cooked. If it's not, then you throw it back in. And if it starts to burn, then you turn it down so it doesn't burn on top or you cover it up with aluminum foil. So right now I'm just gonna throw it in and I'm gonna wait. This will probably take, I don't know, what would you say, mom? Half hour? Yeah, 40 minutes yeah, maybe? Half hour. So that's what's up. That's what we're going to do. You'll see this when I come back. But before I do that, I'm still going to, I'm just going to drizzle this a uh, little bit more butter inside of here now that I've got that brown sugar in there. Nice. Nice. So shout out to my people, alphabetapie.com. Shout out Jules Bailey. Congratulations on your engagement, darling. That's what's up. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. All right, into the oven they go. And you'll see me momentarily. All right, now I've just taken these bad boys out. They've been out in for about 30 minutes. And they're nearly fork tender all the way through. Just the little bit thicker part of the squash at the very top, the shoulders, I would say. Um, it just needs to go in maybe another five minutes. But I'm going to show you what these guys look like. They're nice and roasted golden brown. And the, everything looks beautiful in there. It's all melted and lovely. There's quite enough butter here, but guess what I'm gonna do? I'm just going to take some of what's inside. It's all liquidy and buttery and beautiful and brown sugary, and I'm just gonna coat those edges on the top to make sure that it stays nice and moist. It's gonna be tasty. Mmm. All right, back in the oven, and you'll see them in a second. All right, everybody, these are ready to go. They are gorgeous. They are all brown sugar crystally and lovely and buttery and brown. I'm going to serve them alongside some pork chops tonight, some ancho chili pork chops, rubbed pork chops, and some um, smoked paprika roasted potatoes. What? As well as some Brussels sprouts. I can't wait. I'm so hungry right now. Anyways, that's how you, how you roast acorn squash, and that's how you would roast most squashes. You would just have to, you know, deal with the time issue and how thick how thick the flesh is, is thicker, you gotta roast it longer. No big deal, you can do it. I know you can do it. So, this is cooking like alpha beta pie and this is how to roast acorn squash in a desserty kind of way. <laughs> Anyways, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are at youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly and the site is cookingwithkimberly.com. Make sure you check out alphabetapie.com they're the best. And uh, that's it. That's all. Eat deliciously. Be a champion in your kitchen. Bye.